With Just in Mind, you can create data-driven prototypes with your own real data and functional data tables. In this example, we have used radio buttons, which when clicked on, allow the user to see flight information within an individual row. Create a web prototype with the flight's data master that we have used in previous tutorials. Add two text widgets on the right of the flight status header. Name them Flight and Departing To, respectively. Drag a data list widget. In the dialog that appears, type the name of your data list into the identifier text box. Select your data master from the data master dropdown. Move the data master fields that you want to display in your table to the right. Click OK. Position your data list on the canvas. Right click on the data list and add another column. Position the mouse on top of the column you've just added until a white down arrow appears and drag the column to the furthest left position in the table. Drag a radio button widget from the Forms and Inputs library into current row 1. Drag two input field widgets to the right of the two text box widgets. Select the radio button and go to the Events tab. Add an on click and set value event. Select the first input field below. Set the value as calculated and select the Add Expression option. In the Expression Builder that appears, drag the Select function to the first circle. Drag the Filter function list to the second circle. Drag the current row from the data list to the third. Drag the radio button to the fourth. From the Data Master tab, drag the flight node from your Data Master to the final circle. Click OK twice. Back in the canvas, right-click on the event you have just created and select the Add Action After Selected option. Add another on click and set value event. Select the second input field below. Set the value as calculated and select the Add Expression option. In the Expression Builder that appears, drag the Select function to the first circle. Drag the Filter function list to the second circle. Drag the current row from the data list to the third. Drag the radio button to the fourth. From the Data Master tab, drag the Departing node from your Data Master to the final circle. Click OK twice. And that's it! Click Simulate to see and interact with your data list. You will be able to see the status of a flight by clicking on the radio button in its row.